So one of the new pieces of functionality in the TP2 release for Q3D is the model view architecture, which is intended to make it really easy to dynamically create and remove objects in a 3D scene. So you can just see here a little demo that lets us create a variety of boxes, different positions, and different colors. And the code to do it is a, a little bit easier than the application to do it. Uh, and that includes creation and deletion, so we can click on these little boxes to get rid of them too. Uh, another new functionality in the TP2 release is a simple little skybox demo allowing you to make very, very attractive backdrops of your scenes very, very easily. Another new feature in Q3D is the network loading of models and textures. What this allows you to do is load 3D models or textures in a Qt or QML application across the network. Now this can be done in the current thread or it can be done in a background thread so you don't have to notice it. So you can see here we've loaded this teapot model and for all intents and purposes it's exactly like loading a file and all of the network loading components are hidden from view.